Well, the first thing that strikes you is that it's very, very big. It's, it's huge. Um, uh, at a glance, it immediately evokes sort of national flags or, um, you know, football strips. There's Newcastle. <laughs> you know, there's the Maltese flag up there. You know, just purely on a, on a very, very basic level. I just like the color, I like the shapes, I like the patterns. Um, you can see that the paint is applied in a fairly kind of a slapdash way with a normal kind of a house painting brush. You can see that that's just like whoosh, whoosh. There is energy in that painting. There is passion in that painting. But when you look at it really closely, you can, you can see how crude it is a lot of the time. You know, <laughs> you can see that it is applied very kind of, you know, loosely and liberally. And I think people like Scully, especially, make galleries more accessible. For some people, it might make them more forbidding. But for me, it makes it more accessible. This is a guy, a very ordinary guy, apparently. I don't know an awful lot about the man, but he comes from a very tough background. You know, he was a street fighting man, or so the mythology would, would have it. What he's doing is so simple, it's so basic. It's just colors and shapes. Every painting is colors and shapes. I think what people are intimidated about is not being able to divine meaning from a painting. But that doesn't bother me in the slightest. Because, you know, I couldn't really analyze a piece of music either, for that matter. I couldn't sometimes analyze a poem. I can't, you know, the reason why an artist chooses this medium, and particularly an abstract artist chooses that medium, is because he can't articulate his true feelings. If he could, he would, presumably. There is no doubt in my mind that that is the way he sees the world. You know, you see, you, you see the world through windows, through doorways. Uh, so the world, if you live in a city, is arranged in geometric shapes. So that's the way he sees the world. So an ordinary landscape or a portrait doesn't do it for him. It doesn't say it for him. Something has triggered this intelligent man to attack that wall. He attacked that canvas. You can see that, you know? But I really, really, I really like this, and I like the kind of fact that he has, he has thrown out a challenge to the viewer, to me. And he said, what do you make of that? And you have to come in here and you have to have a good long look at it. And you have to ask yourself a lot of questions.